basically you're gonna roll the pa the to um, this paper towels. Okay. Up. So they form the posts. Okay. Roll it like that, and then you take tape and go around and around and around. Okay. And then we put them in like this. Well, I'll, I'll show you the glue in a minute. And what we're gonna do is put tape, but just don't wanna put it very tight. Because considering how reactive he seems to be, I have glued that area, it'll be fine. You just put the tape very loosely. Okay. Don't let it move. Stop, you're fine. And then I stick it to itself. Okay. One little piece at the top. Oh, I see how loose you do it, okay. Because you don't want to cut off the blood supply. Right. And we already know he reacts to things like yeah. that. They're all so different. Then, when you took this on, once again, you don't put it tight, ar tight around the ear, but you just put it so it can't, so their ears are straight up and down. Okay. And this is just, just a regular paper towel. And yeah, the cheaper paper towels are better than bounty. Okay. And that's just like medical tape or? This is uh, Zona's, por it's porous tape. You see, it's not. Okay. It's got holes. So it's not waterproof. Okay. You don't want waterproof. Okay. Because he'll react to that too. Okay. And so his ears are, they're straight up and down. And then I need to bite glue. I'm going to get you that. Okay. Picture of that now. And then, um, do I keep it on for six days and then one day take it off and give him a bath and stuff? I would talk to her. Okay. This is what you put, uh, you put this on the inside of the ear. Okay. And then you put it, you take, after you put the tape on, you paint it on here. It's like oh, okay. contact cement. So it's gotta dry okay. before it goes on okay okay so you can put neosporin on this or whatever don't have to put anything i'm gonna give him i'm gonna put him back on some antibiotics okay. do you tolerate those antibiotics okay yeah he was fine mm -hmm. um so do i keep this on for six days give him a bath and then let him dry off and air out and then the next day? i would leave it on probably yeah that when you do it when they come loose at the bottom because uh -huh. his ears as much as he's growing uh -huh. they'll probably be six or seven days if we're lucky okay they'll come loose at the bottom if they come out at the bottom, you have to take them down. Okay. Because there's nothing to pull his ears back if he's pushing like this. Okay. Understand? Yep. Okay. So this will all, this will all, the irritation will go down. Okay. Uh, that's why I went ahead and clipped it because it was easier to get to the Yeah, dry yeah, of course, yeah. And to make it clip to... nice and dry. Okay. So, um, so it's, um, whenever it starts getting loose, then, um, then take it can... off and do I... Is it okay to give him a bath yeah. and then um, yes. let it air dry for like a day and then yeah, the next fine. day put it on? Okay. Okay. You're fine. It's a lot easier than I thought it would be. And these just go all the way in the ear. Do I have to clean it's inside far, the ear well, or anything? I, there's now, I clean them out really good. Okay. You don't want to clean them out with much anything besides alcohol because the glue won't stick. Okay. That glue, we, we get it from a medical supply. It's a human product. Okay. So you can, if you don't even order it from Giant or some medical supply if you have them okay. around you. I don't know where they are. All right, maybe I can find it on Amazon or something. It's possible. Okay. Um, and then the antibiotics, I just give them one in the morning, one at night, just like yes. I've been? Okay. Yes. All right, bud.